All right, thanks a lot, Lane. We have some changes to tell you about this morning, a change in what we're going to do. Take a look outside. Our turkey talk has taken a turn for the worse, so now we're talking fire tips. Live interview with Bud Myers is straight ahead. <laughs> straight at, poor Bud. Straight ahead. Stay with us. <laughs> Where the news comes first. News 6. Welcome back. We've got a safety lesson for you this morning. This is what happens when you put your gadgets and gizmos guru in charge of the holiday bird. Our Bud Myers joins us now live from outside. And Bud, you know, we've been joking about this and your cooking ability, but obviously a lesson to be learned, and we're going to go ahead and let you take it away out there. Well, I think we should go, uh, certainly with the lesson. I mean, we mess up, we should let everybody know. You know, there are 45 million turkeys that will be eaten this Thanksgiving. This is not one of them. Uh, while we were doing the segment, and it was live, I actually had six-foot flames coming out of the pot that we had. And uh, we had to call the Richmond Fire Department, and they were right here on the spot. And I've got Lieutenant Rexner right here. Um, Jake, what happened? Well, you, your cooking oil was heated to above its ignition temperature, and it consequently caught fire. Uh, you can imagine what would happen if this was in your kitchen. Within five minutes, we'd have a serious working fire, which would require probably about five fire companies to control. Now, I had only, this was only on for about 25 minutes, mm -hmm. and we had six-foot flames coming out of this pot. Right. I can imagine what would happen if this was internal in a kitchen. Okay. Well, if you look right here on your container of cooking oil, it says any oil will burn if overheated. Uh, the most common cause of house fires in Richmond, 45% of our house fires start in the kitchen, and it's uh, frequently people leaving stuff on the stove unattended. The flames catch the kitchen cabinets on fire. You have what we call flashover. The whole kitchen becomes involved and spreads throughout the house. I think they're seeing it right now, right. what was going on. I right. want to tell you, it was, it was quite a thrill on Saturday morning, guys. A way to wake up. Yep. But I can't believe you guys were here. Now, if, if right, the first thing you don't want to put, obviously, is water on this. Obviously, right. But the problem we had here is uh, the container itself and the oil was so hot it kept reigniting on you. Right. You, you all tried to put it out. Right. And, uh, we actually had to use three different extinguishing agents to achieve extinguishment. And that, that was outside. It was very easy. You can imagine the difficulty inside a building. Okay, so right. if I'm going to deep fry, right. obviously because I'm, I'm promoting this, I'm right. deep frying, you know? Right. What should I have next to me as safety precaution just in case this were to happen? Well, obviously you should have a CO2 fire extinguisher or a dry chemical fire extinguisher. You don't want water. Uh, we had to use water on this to cool the container to bring the oil below its ignition temperature. But uh, uh, the main thing is you want to be with it and attend it at all times and don't let your oil overheat to where it produces your flammable vapors and catches fire. Okay, okay. Lieutenant, okay. I so. really appreciate it. Thank you for well, all of you, you, you being here, and uh, it was great. For, we, we do appreciate it. A good holiday lesson for all them folks <laughs> out there. <laughs> hey, Allison, um, look, I like Cajun turkey, but for everybody inside, uh, how about Aunt Sarah's in about an hour? It's all on me. Well, that sounds okay. wonderful. I tell you what, when we said we wanted the bird hot, we meant spicy hot, not hot, hot. Okay, but hey, tell the uh, the fire guys, the Richmond Fire Department, thank you so much for coming over and, and for helping us out. And you be safe out there, okay? Oh, you bet. All right. We're going to send it over to Tracy Lewis right now, who has a look at our forecast. So no turkey for breakfast, <laughs> but Aunt Sarah's will do. I am very, <laughs> very happy with that one. Let's take a look around the